guys. Um, I was going to record back to back. As you see, I'm wearing the same shirt I was wearing in uh, episode whatever. I don't know what it was. It was week three after I was going to record back to back. And it randomly stopped recording two minutes and 30 seconds into my video. Fun fact, I won the game. I had three user picks, two with BJ Goodson, one with Landon Collins, and we beat the Saints. Saquon Barkley had 148 rushing yards and a touchdown. Odell only had three catches for 33 yards and a touchdown. Um, and I go to stop the recording, and it wasn't even recording. It had randomly stopped for no reason in OBS. So I am pissed right now. So you get more Giants franchise action. I'm not going to play the game now, though. I'm going to do it tomorrow, probably at some point. But uh, please like the video for my pain. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, <laughs> can't wait to lose now. That's going to be awesome. I'll uh, see you tomorrow in, like, a cut. So uh, let's, let's do one of those, uh, those, like, vlogger transitions. Watch how cool this is going to be. <laughs> and we're back <laughs> um so you heard about what happened in the intro clearly and it's not been a great start to the season for us and, and granted this is uh this is the giants it went three and 13 last year oh and three is not exactly a super surprising start considering at least who was on uh the schedule because we had the cowboys who were at least okay we had the jaguars who were an afc favorite to make the playoffs for sure texans who are pretty much in the same boat worse than the jaguars i think but still and then we have the saints who are certainly super solid in the nfc the panthers are okay the eagles just won the super bowl the falcons uh were in the nfc divisional round at least and then it gets a little bit easier from that on out, but not really. So it is a bit of a tough schedule. But before we do anything, I'm going to tell you, I'm committed to winning this game. I'm going to do whatever it takes, and we're going to win. We're going to beat the Saints. I balled out, but it didn't happen. Before we do so, there's been a lot of trade talk about maybe moving Eli Apple, and I get it. But who am I going to absolutely just shit on? In game if Eli Apple is not on the team you got to think about it from a video making perspective so he's gonna stay on for at least a little while longer and you guys voted on Twitter twitter.com slash bangle designs link is down in the description we're gonna do auto generated prospects just there are too many variables for real life prospects I'm gonna be doing some of those in my realistic rebuilds for sure but for creating storylines and things like that it just wakes it, it wakes it makes me mm, jump cut it makes well mm, did it again it makes way more sense to use auto-generated rookies storylines i don't know how good the players are gonna be and i think it just makes it a lot more fun we got flannery flan here uh, i mean like there are there are a lot of players ty earl really they like yeah what, what's his name gonna be yeah make it make it tyrell you say ty earl yeah, I guess. They write it on the birth certificate. All right. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm going to use some of the scouting. I'll show you guys some prospects before we play the Saints. So, scouted some wide receivers. There's some ones that I like. Howard Russell looks especially good. Red zone threat. Six foot two. Really good at top three skills. Same thing with Randall Hartman. Bennett Cadu looks very good as a possession receiver. Same thing with Thomas Hendricks. And then Parker Kuhn, another LSU guy. Slot receiver. Looks very similar to what Odell could have been. 5'11", about 180. Uh, and really solid top three skills. So it's going to be interesting. We're going to continue to look at wide receivers. Of course, the offensive line. I mean, quarterback is something we're going to take a look at. There are a few quarterbacks near the top of the list. And then defensively, we're looking at cornerback for sure. Middle linebacker, defensive end, outside linebacker, free safety. I mean, we got an interesting situation. And Odell, we're going to offer him a contract extension maybe next week. We'll see. Saints Giants. The names look like they could be anagrams. Look that up if you don't know. We got Pyro shooting out of the top of MetLife Stadium. Fireworks going off. And we're going to see fireworks here today. Let me tell you. This time, it's going to be uh, some nice weather. As it was, I think, overcast earlier when we played. 
And uh, it looks like it's a bright, sunny day. And I am excited to get things going here. Drew Brees is uh, praising the sun god, perhaps. Not exactly sure what that was, but he could give us some trouble today. I just really got to step up and uh, just user the hell out of him again. But I can guarantee that won't happen because, uh, as you guys know, you guys think I'm absolute trash. But the sliders are hard. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be better. I'm gonna be better today. All right, same sliders as last episode. If you guys wanted the update on the sliders, we did a huge, huge start to the video on uh, settings and sliders and things like that. But uh, it's game time. You guys also hate when I try to do the spin move, but trust me, I, when I get guys who can actually spin and they have the high enough spin rating, I'm gonna be spinning like I'm a damn washing machine. You can guarantee that. Am I streaking Odell here? Let's drag Evan Ingram. And uh, we got Odell. We got Odell Beckham Jr. off the start of the game in coverage against Alex Anzalone. Odell's going to have that all day. 47 yards. And Kurt Coleman, too. I maybe should have waited for that to develop. We could add a touchdown. But I'll take 47 yards. And we're going to look for somebody here. Wait for it to develop. There it is underneath. Just a safe pass. Sterling Shepard breaks a tackle. They're calling him down at the one. Is that worth a challenge? Probably not. Call another toss to the wide side of the field. Just hope Saquon Barkley has the wheels to get around him. There's the block. Saquon Barkley, end zone touchdown, taunting him. And we're going to celebrate. Saquon Barkley, apparently a lefty, knocks it out of the park. We'll call him a switch hitter. Bomb, 450. That's a great play by Dalvin Tomlinson. You know, I got to say, if we're going to make any changes, I think their pass block should come down slightly. And their run block should be boosted slightly. I will say that. As a screen, I'm all over it. All over it with BJ Goodson. It really sucks because Saquon Barkley had 148 rushing yards last game, I believe. And now I can't run the ball. I, I'm going to get it going. I promise I will. He's going to have a game. Trust me. But as for right now, we're just focusing on getting the first down. And Eli, <laughs> just throw the ball, please. We had him. Is that a run? We're there. Olivier Vernon. Can't bring him down, but Alec Ogletree in there for the help. And we are shutting it down. I did say, though, uh, I guess in the last recording, I believe that they usually get the run game going in the second half. Just seems to be a trend. So we're going to have to try and, and really lock in on that. Oh, they're going to take a shot over the top. I thought I played it long enough. Drew Brees threads the needle, finds Josh Hill with a perfectly placed ball, and that is a huge gain. Oh, that's another great pass, but BJ Goodson is tipped up in Eli Apple. He gets the interception. Eli Apple, are you kidding me? The spin move works. What a play. Honestly, the most impressive thing is not even he caught it off the kick. Eli Apple is the only guy on a team to effectively complete a spin move. Check this out. Drew Brees throws. I get over there with BJ Goodson just in time to make the hit. The ball would have would have been incomplete. And it gets kicked off of him. Cameron Meredith. Was that off his shoulder? And picked off by Eli Apple. Oh my god. It was off his arm. He basically threw it to him. The only way Eli Apple could ever get an interception. Even when he does something right, I'm still going to just chew him out. Here we go. This is money. Oh, we had to throw that so quickly, but we find Sterling Shepard for a big gain. Pressure is coming in so hot. I need my offensive line to step up. It's coming in just, just heat, and they're rushing for... This could be open. Second and eight. Looks like a pretty weak box. Oh, and it is. Saquon Barkley. Stiff arm. Get off of him. Saquon Barkley inside the 10. Just doing a little bit more due diligence to showcase patience. Not using turbo till I hit the hole and really use it to get to the next level of the defense. I think we're going to be a lot more effective in the run game from now on. Okay. I guess not. I guess not. Saquon Barkley... I guess we handed him off the ball one too many times in a row. And uh, he's going to cough it up. 
Also, I think I did mention this before, but at some point when we get to the off season, whenever that may be, as I try to get there with BJ Goodson and can't. Oh, that was almost a user pick. But at some point when we get to the off season, I will be probably live streaming it over on Twitch and then uploading later. So if you want to be there for the live stream, potentially impact some decisions we make in the draft, twitch.tv slash bangle. Link is in the description. Let's get the football. That's a play action. I'm, I don't mean to be on the defensive lineman. And great play by Jack Rabbit Janoris Jenkins to stop the completion there. That was a pretty good throw by Drew Brees. Just better play by Janoris Jenkins. But we already knew that the Giants had one of the best uh, run defenses in the NFL. We're showing that here. The pass defense has just really been the issue. And I don't even know who to cover here. Drill Brandon Coleman with Landon Collins. But uh, he holds on. Fourth and inches, though. And they're going to go for it. I actually... No, they're not. Why would they line me up in cover six by default? It's a long kick. Oh my god, it's off the bar! No good. Unbelievable. We're still going to be shutting them out. All right, definitely do not fumble the ball. We're going right back to Saquon Barkley. I know I tried to spin. I'm, I'm fully aware. It's, it's instinct at this point. I'll take the 10-yard gain, though. Please be open. We just got to read the hole and hit it. Hopefully it opens up. And there it is. Saquon Barkley stumbling forward to the 20 gain of eight. Sterling Shepard could be wide open here. We got Evan Ingram in the backfield. I'm just going to check down. Dude, you guys saw that. Eli Manning's arm came forward earlier, and then he got hit. Why? How, how do you not throw the ball there? It just sucks because I can't see where the ball is. Or, I have no idea where I'm kicking. Oh, the reason I did it short is because we're at the 36. Even with wind. That's a great punt. That's a great punt. Let it bounce. Down him at the 6. Oh, wow. Cam Meredith wide open. Drew Brees is dotting us up right now. They're in the hurry up. They might score before half. So BJ Hill getting his... Uh, his first reps here of game time with the starting defense. See if he can do anything for us. Oh, that's money. Easy reads. Green eggs and ham. BJ Goodson with the user pick. And now we're in a position we can score the football before half here. All right, third and 21. Not exactly where we want to be. Looking to Sterling Shepard or Saquon. I just need the time to throw. Saquon is was open maybe but I threw to Sterling Shepard first down that was so key play action to Saquon I might actually have some time here but I don't like anything I'm gonna throw it anyway oh my god Marshawn Lattimore just made an incredible play I know you guys say I turned the ball over way too much and uh, I don't want to clearly but uh if we go into replay mode here I just uh, Marshawn Lattimore made a crazy play I rolled out with Eli I thought we had some time but I didn't want to throw to Odell here, rolling out to my left. I didn't think it would be open with uh, this cornerback. I think it might be Ken Crawley. And then uh, I rolled out. I led Evan Ingram up, and I thought this was going to be plenty of field. And uh, clearly, as you can see, the ball is just viciously underthrown and uh, to the wrong part of the field. And Marshawn Lattimore gets up. Oh, my God. Look how high he is off the ground. <laughs> uh, yeah, tough. Oh, it's mine! Easy reads! User pick! Hop on pop! BJ Goodson, end zone! Touchdown! And we've actually done exactly what I did last episode. <laughs> In the first half, though, this time. Two user picks with BJ Goodson and the touchdown. Big fan. Now all we need is the sack. I also need a Landon Collins user pick. And we're golden. 14 zip. But Eli is going to take the field. And again, I know a lot of people like Kyle Lalletta. They saw his, essentially his start last week or two weeks ago, whenever it was. And he played really well. But this is Eli's team for at least this year. We're going to rock out with him. I think he gives us the best chance to win. We're going to go to Saquon Barkley in the flat. Close to the first down. Third and five. This is a big third down. And Saquon Barkley's open in the flats. I know we keep going to him, but why would you not? You spend a second round draft pick on him. Nope, you don't. You spend a number two overall draft pick on him. 
You're going to get him the football a lot. Jonathan Stewart is going to be the tailback, though. Saquon's a little bit winded. But we're going to throw that ball. Red Ellison. Red Ellison caught the football? Oh, my God, Red. He's fighting for first-team reps. Won't happen. <laughs> How does Red Ellison catch that? Unbelievable. What a beast. I don't really want to up the pass blocking for user sliders because... I mean, the Giants' offensive line isn't great, so I'm not really worried about that. I think I think things are pretty good. Oh my god, dude. I'm waiting for things to get open, and you gotta call something a little bit deeper on third and 14. They want us to attempt the 63-yarder. We have the wind. I have no thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that I'm on the nose here. I went a little bit to the right. And then a little bit to the right with that as well. And the wind's going to push it a little left. Would have been a 63-yarder from Aldrick Rosas, which uh, I actually believe would have tied the NFL record of Matt Prater because the wind is just absolutely ridiculous here. Oh, man. If I had the meter, that's easy. It's 17 nothing. Unfortunately, not the case. That's a pet play action. Oh, I couldn't get there. Missed the hit stick as well. Cameron Meredith. He keeps getting open, man. Oh, he's open again. Josh Hill. He's hurt us a couple times. Drew Brees doing Drew Brees things. I mean, what do you think about when you think Drew Brees? You're throwing the football and distribution to a ton of receivers. Josh Hill, Cameron Meredith, Michael Thomas. Ted Ginn really hasn't been a factor in this particular game. But, I mean, he's, he's getting everybody involved. And that's a touchdown. Cameron Meredith continues to hurt us. Saints get on the board, and they are not done here. Meredith playing rock, paper, scissors. And it looks like Odell's getting double covered. They, they might just be shading inside. And, no, they're double covering him. We're going to check down to Saquon. And he just, he just couldn't get any speed going, man. He got the first down anyway. I don't know about that. Oh, Evan Ingram's open. Up the middle. Eli, you are killing me. I mean, we it, we destroy cover, too, with that. And it, brutal. Didn't convert on third down. But, I mean, we should be able to drill this. Fourth and two. Again, I can't see my line at all. But I, I drill that. Win. Just don't push it too far. We hit the field goal, 17 to seven. I mean, guys, it's tough when you can't see it at all and you're just hoping. And then you can't adjust it really because you don't know where you're adjusting it to. It's, uh, it's a little frustrating. Off the middle, BJ Goodson. I knew it was a, a pass. Going deep. Cameron Meredith almost mosses Eli Apple and I am 100% convinced that he would have if Darian Thompson had not been there. Rewatch the play. I'm telling you, he caught that before Darian Thompson hit him. Oh my god, Eli Apple. That was that was a bad spot for us with how effective Cameron Meredith has been today against Eli Apple. PJ Goodson, please. Oh, that's a great knockdown by Lorenzo Carter. He continues to impress in just a number of ways. I mean, you look at Drew Brees' stats and you see one touchdown to three interceptions and I mean, look at him. One was a great pass that happened to get a huge hit. The ball got knocked loose and uh, just popped up in the air right to Eli Apple. And the other two were user picks where uh, it was just good baiting against the CPU. But Drew Brees, he's looked so good today. And Cameron Meredith just cooks Eli Apple again and again and again and again. Third and three. I'm not going to run hard flats. I am going to blitz Lorenzo Carter. And just hopefully Eli Apple. Oh my God, that's my fault. Not Eli Apple. I was hoping I was going to cover all that. Lorenzo Carter would have been beat on the inside anyway. Cameron Meredith takes it down to the one. Pinch this. I'm going to use it to Lorenzo Carter. He's got fantastic speed. It's a run. Great play by Darian Thompson on the free safety blitz. Using Landon Collins on this. We're going to pinch the D-line. It's third and goal. This really could decide the game. Oh my God. Eli Apple burned by Cameron Meredith off the jump. And uh, he's got another touchdown. At the very least, we need a field goal. 
at the very least. I don't want it to come to that. I want a touchdown. Evan Ingram, that's a one cut, perfectly utilized, and the first down. Uh, we're going to take off with Eli. Uh, we maybe had the throw. It's going to be fourth and inches from the 40. Saquon has a shoulder strain, and he's out for the game. God, Jonathan Stewart's going to be the new running back, and we're not going to punt the ball. From the 40, it's an inch. An inch. We could get this. Saquon out of the game really, really hurts for our chances here. But we got this. I'm going to have Latimer coming back over. I'm looking at Odell still. He beats it. Odell Beckham Jr. over the middle. First down. That is so massive. So massive. That was such bad double coverage. Third and nine, dude. I'm going to... I'm going to pass. I'm going to look for Odell. They're shading over there. Stepping up with Eli. I was going to throw to Odell Beckham Jr. Wow. They call their final timeout. They have sacked us seven times. We have no sacks. Hence why I think their pass blocking should go down a little bit. And uh, I guess we're going to settle for the 40-yard field goal here. I say settle. This is a pretty deep field goal. I hope we I hope we get it. I have no idea where we're kicking. I hope we get it. Kick is up. And the kick is no good. I know I, everyone's going to say I suck for that. I, I can't tell where I'm kicking the ball. I have no idea. It's just maybe I'm doing it correctly. I, I can't see. It literally would be like going up there blind. Because I have no idea if I'm adjusting the correct way. And apparently, I didn't adjust enough. And Michael Thomas is going to catch the ball. This is how I lose. Oh, my God. I can tell. I can tell. Why is Alec Ogletree in man coverage? BJ Goodson, turn around. Fumble the ball. Somebody make a play. I'm, I'm seeing our 0-3 slip to 0-4. No. No. How are you holding on, Josh Hill? I'm knocking you into next Tuesday. What is happening? Please, somebody do something. Please. Please. A field goal ties the game. They're playing for the win. Oh, my God. This is brutal. Somebody better make a play, man. Third and six. What do we even play for here? I'm going to go big nickel. I want to... Uh, as bad as they seem to be. And we averaged seven yards in this play. It's <laughs> third and six. As bad as we seem to be, we're going to play the sticks with our defensive backs. I'm going to play with our best cover guys, hopefully. We get a sack fumble! It's recovered by Olivier Vernon. Dalvin Tomlinson sacks Drew Brees. The ball pops out, finally. And it looks like we're going to win the football game. Unreal scenes here for MetLife Stadium. The defense has clutched up in the biggest way possible, forcing a turnover. The Saints have no timeouts, and the game is over. Wow. Wow. We've done it, though. <laughs> we win a nail biter. 17 14. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sean Payton can't believe it. I honestly can't believe it. These games are not easy. There's a, that's a great screenshot, sure. But that's the play of the game. Unbelievable. Dalvin Tomlinson clutches up huge. That's a terrible angle. I don't know who's taking that photograph, but like hire a new photographer because that was absolute crap. Uh, Eli, 16 for 24, zero touchdowns, one interception. It was a weird game. The Saints defense was pretty good up near the goal line, and we kind of just chose to run the ball. And, if, like, we had a defensive touchdown. Saquon fumbled and is out for the game. Average about four on the on the ground. Better than he has been. Cameron Meredith destroyed us, as did Josh Hill. Cam Meredith had two touchdowns, of course. No receiving touchdowns for us. Blocking Nate Solder led up two. Nick Becton led up two. Defensively, Alec Ogletree had seven tackles. We had nine with B.J. Goodson. Tackles for loss, two from a number of players. Sacks. We, we just got torn up. And, of course, Dalvin Tomlinson 
one sack the only time we got any pressure and it took like seven seconds bj goodson with two interceptions eli apple with one in a ridiculous way and then forced fumbles of course dalvin tomlinson and the recovery by ov defensive touchdown for bj goodson he might win defensive player of the week anyway because last week all i had on top of that was a sack but that's going to do it for me guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it, and i will see you in the next one i'm super excited for next week take it easy